Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month for the month of January 2022. Um, and I'm going to be making these three cards to show you some different ways that you can use this die set. So as I said, this is the Small Die of the Month. You get that large cover die. Like It throws me that they call this a small die because I think this is brilliant. <laughs> um, so you get that cover die, you get a beautiful heart shape sort of florals um, and then you get a separate die so that you can cut out some florals that you can add on top of the heart and um, it'll make sense as I go through and show you what I'm doing so the heart that you get with it it cuts out that pattern but it doesn't cut the heart out so you would cut that pattern out of something and um, but I cut it with the cover die and then then I got the heart cut out too um, if that makes sense so I also cut some of the beautiful little flowers that you get with it um, and I'm just using the end of a paintbrush because I don't have a stylus just to press them into my eraser um, the adhesive eraser that I've got there um, just to give them a little bit more life um, and yeah, I just thought that that would be cute. Um, and then I'm using my pickup tool from Trinity Stamps to add those flowers onto that heart. Um, so there's two styles of flowers. So I did the open ones first. Um, and then these are ones that are sort of like, I'm guessing that they're meant to be sort of turning away. I'm not sure. Um, but I added all of those on. I just pressed on the like single bump side to <laughs> to make those come up a little bit too um, and then I'm adding some cute little gems these are from Trinity um, in the middle of each of those flowers and I think that they look so beautiful I love it I really really love how that that looks so good so I cut the cover die from um, white cardstock and then also from three cardstocks that I've got um, in my stash, these are Stamp Market cardstocks, the Colour Crush cardstock. Um, I will have the colours linked below um, because shock horror, I can't remember them. <laughs> so because I got all of those different ones, I wanted to sort of piece together different colours um, to make a kind of pattern. But I wanted to make sure that they were all sort of sat together properly on my cardstock. And... I don't know, I, I was watching TV as I did this and <laughs> I decided that the easiest way was going to be to add a little bit of tape to hold them all together so that I could pick that up in one piece there off the die. I'm not sure that that was the easiest way to do it but like I said, I was watching TV. I was very distracted and um, watching, I uh, started borrowing my daughter's tablet while she's at school so that I can film and watch Netflix on there. <laughs> It's awesome. I love it. Um, so once I'd got those all together, I just added some glue to the back and then I've stuck them onto a panel of Nina 80 pound. Um, that's the same white cardstock that I'd also cut the die with. So I've taken the hearts from that white die cut um, and just inlaid those in with the, the coloured one. If that makes sense. So the hearts they sort of cut into two pieces so you can have a different colour on each side of the heart or you know whatever you want to do um, but I just wanted to have them all white. I thought that, that was a nice contrast to those beautiful colour crush cardstock colours um, and it would also tie in the border of white and the white that I've got on that heart in the middle. So you could leave these like empty, that would still show white, but I wanted to have more of an inlaid kind of look to it. So when I put my heart there, I felt like it needed something behind it. So I grabbed the like tealy coloured heart from when I cut that. Um, I glued that to the back and then I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape just to give me a little bit of dimension um, because I like... I like me some dimension on my cards and I really like how that looks that's cute um I then got a sentiment that I've hot foiled um, and I've just got like a bunch of them already done um I'll have 
the thingy linked below the plate that I used, but I actually used the Pink Fresh Solid plate to foil the leftover from those sentiments. So this is the, the leftover piece. Like, like It's amazing. I love that solid foil plate. You wouldn't have those leftover bits normally, so it's great. So I grabbed a, just a little bit of each of the colour cardstocks that I'm using um, and I've embossed onto them with that um, embossing powder, which is a wow one with um, Alexandra Renke. And it's like clear but with gold in it so you can see the cardstock below um, but that cardstock does look a little bit darker because it's been uh, embossed um, and then you've got the gold on and then I used that just to cut out the little flowers and um, this bar die there that I'm just sort of fighting with currently and um, that's the one that cuts out all of those little flowers and then it cuts the centers to the flowers and yeah it's just really cute um, and I really like how they look. So fast forward and I've got all of those out of that die. I've then got three of the pretty white pattern ones that I've put on top of a solid heart in those three colours. And then I'm just going to add these embossed flowers over the top. So I'm adding the same colour over the same colour. But because it's got that gold and clear embossing on it um, it just gives a little bit more interest and it looks like a slightly darker colour of what I've got. So it was at this point that I realised that you have to cut the thing twice to get enough flowers to cover the whole die. So I went back and cut another one. Luckily I had enough from um, each one that I was able to to cut that and I love how they look so I've got all of those three done and then I've got this is just a mini slimline card panel it's Nina 80 pound um, and it is six and a half by three and a half inches and I'm just lining my hearts up there and um, I really love how well they fit on this slimline panel it's like it was made to be so I really really like that. I decided to just stick these straight down onto the card panel Um chose a random order don't know why I put it that order no reason really um, and I've got another one of those same sentiments that I had before so I'm just going to add some foam tape onto the back of that and then I'm going to pop that up onto that middle heart and yeah just really cute and all this time I'm still watching Netflix, it's amazing. Amazing, I was watching some crime drama thing and I watched the entire thing in one day. <laughs> and then I, I told my daughter off for using a tablet for too long, so it's like, seven hours you've been on this, I don't even understand how you've been at school. And my husband was like, <clears throat> you, Netflix. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry baby girl, love you. So now I've got the white, what's left of the white cover die cut out that I did and I've taken the hearts from that for the first card um, and I'm just going to use up some of the, the leftovers. I really like doing that and using up as much of it as I can. So this time it didn't actually cut apart all of those pieces when I, I ran it through with the Nina um, so I can easily kind of fit them back together onto another panel of Nina 80 pound and then I'm using the hearts that got cut out when I did the full panel with the colour crush cardstock um, so I just went round and chose what colours I wanted and where um, and then added those in so this is the glimmer of the month um, set so there's going to be a video for that as well <laughs> so I used the heart from that to cut out a heart and then I grabbed one of the older um, set of the months to cut a sentiment um, but whenever I've got leftover foil now I've got the hot foil plate um, I use that to foil just the leftover randomly onto sheets of cardstock um, and I can then use that for die cuts so that's what I did I die cut the hello out of that um, one of the gold foils so with that heart that I die cut I'm going to coat that in Wow's ultra slow drying embossing ink um, and then I'm going to emboss that in Halo 
um, halo is it's clear but it's got like a holographic glitter in it oh it's just beautiful it's so beautiful so it's still going to be a white heart um, but there's going to be like holographic color shifting glitter through it it's beautiful I love it so I just coated it with that and then I'm going to use that paper that I've got underneath that's just printer paper and I'm going to use that to funnel all of that embossing powder back into my embossing powder pot here I'm just finishing heat setting it and then I'm going to pop that up on my card in the middle where that heart cut out is um, with some more foam tape um, and then I'm going to use some more foam tape on the hello die cut um, I can't remember what month that was from but it was from last year's um, small die of the month one of the months of that um, but you know you could use any just use use any sentiment that you've got um, and I just popped that up on more foam tape in the center of that heart and I love it oh I really love this die I think there's just so many ways that you can use it this die set so I'm adding some sort of opalescent pearl gem things um, I can't remember the name but I will have them linked they are also from Trinity Stamps um, and I'm just adding those and that's my three cards I love them I'm really happy and I had a really enjoyable day <laughs> making cards and watching crime drama it was good it was, it was good it was good so uh, I hope that you like the cards let me know in the comments below um, and I hope that you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.